Here we have a Fronius IG inverter, and if you can see on the screen here, it's coming up with a state 301 error. It's coming up, it swaps between the startup and state 301. Now, state 301 error, it, what that means is the safety circuit inside the inverter detects a current peak on the main supply. Now, um, in my experience, if you have this state 301 error with your inverter, it's usually a problem inside the inverter, but it can potentially be a problem with the voltage drop on the uh, on the mains into your property. But like I said, usually I found it to be a, a uh, issue on the inside of the inverter. Now, whenever you have a problem with your inverter, it's a good idea to try and reboot the system, restart it. And so when you do that, it's always important to follow the shutdown procedure, which is you turn off the solar supply main switch or inverter AC isolator. Here we've got an inverter AC isolator beside the inverter, so we're just going to turn that one off. The solar supply main switch is always located in your switchboard. And then it says turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter. That's it, on the other side in this case. So I'll just throw that one off. And we'll let this thing shut down all together. There we go, it's totally uh, turned off now. And we'll restart the system. The uh, startup procedure isn't important, it can either be the AC or the DC first. So we'll just throw them on. And it'll usually take a couple of minutes just to uh, go through the startup procedure. And we'll see, uh, see what the inverter has to say. So if your Fronius IG inverter is coming up with a state 301 error like this, if, you're, if the inverter uh, was installed less than five years ago, then it will still be covered under warranty. So uh, there's, the best way to find out if it is or not is to actually get the serial number of the inverter, which on these Fronius inverters is located on the bottom, on the, underneath down here. If we have a look here, we have the, uh, the model number. This is a Fronius IG15, and over here, we have the actual serial number of the inverter. So this is uh, IG15, that's what you can see from the slash 15 there. So uh, they're very important things to, uh, to, to keep in mind. Now if you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions are actually a service partner with Fronius, so we can get your inverter up and running again uh, very quickly if it's within that five year warranty period. If it is outside that warranty period, then uh, you, you can certainly get it fixed, but it, it does cost quite a lot of money. And um, in my opinion, you're probably better off biting the bullet and spending a bit more money and getting a whole new inverter with a full warranty again. So you see, this is just going through the uh, startup procedure again, and now it's uh, scrolling between startup and state 301 again. So we haven't cleared the error by rebooting the system. So this one here is going to need, be, need to be repaired. So uh, look, like I said, if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland Gold Coast, Solar Power Solutions can certainly help you. So uh, feel free to get in contact with us and we'll get your system back in operation as quickly as possible. Thanks very much.